All right, and welcome everybody on Twitch and also on YouTube for a uh, uh, fun deck here that we have not played since the release of Ravnica Allegiance, and it's Nia Legends. This is a deck that I uh, love to play and think it's think it's a whole lot of fun. But unfortunately, Rav Ravnica Allegiance didn't add anything to the deck really besides Stomping Ground. So uh, that's you know. Pretty unfortunate for us that we didn't get any like really good legendary creatures or planeswalkers to put in here. Like there is Domri, like there is the new Domri, but don't think it's really worth it in the deck, unfortunately. Um, the only card that I really have from Ravnica Allegiance in here is Rhythm of the Wild in the sideboard instead of Carnage Tyrant um, against the uh, against the control decks to be able to have uh, they can play cheaper you know not have a six mana card with our curve already being really high and then get like some hasted angels and things like that um but really what our deck's doing is we are using the powers of urza's ruinous blast um and to exile all of our opponent's permanents and kamal's druidic vow to put a whole bunch of legendary stuff into play and those are like the two main cards in our deck that we have our deck built around. So let's give it a try and see if we can uh, get some really big Druidic Vows. That's the goal here. Nia Legends. I did metagame challenge all of yesterday, and we did that earlier with the Esper Angels. That's why Esper Angels is 4-1. and one. We, we lost uh, after winning 4. So I've done some of the metagame challenge, um, but I have, because of the packs opened, I have 4x of all the rares in the new set, so it's not, so the metagame challenge, just giving out a whole lot of packs isn't really as valuable. Anyway, Zerf, glad, glad to see you here, Zerf. Day's going good. We are um, over halfway through. We're seven hours now into the, uh, yeah, we are seven hours into our... 12 hour stream so we got five to go going until 11 p.m eastern um we will likely have another deck after the abzan riches deck so we'll likely have one more deck in after these also no streak i haven't listened to muse's new album yet I uh, still have that, still planning on doing that. I have that written down on, like, some other uh, song requests as or, like, you know, song recommendations as well, but I, I haven't checked it out. Just got back from a marathon D&D &D day. Oh, that that sounds fun. I have never played D&D. &D. I've always kind of wanted to, but I've never, never done it. I've always thought it'd be kind of fun to have... A D and D group. So is this this looks like Drake's, right? They haven't done anything else. Kind of want to attack with Lannery Storm here. I want as we need as much mana as possible with this Druidic Vow. I don't really want to use the treasure on an elf. Yeah, I'll use it. I'll use the treasure on an elf. Yeah, we're fine. Next turn, we're only looking at, like, Druidic Vow for four, which is not a number we want. We want Druidic Vow for five or more, because five can um, five can hit... Like, we just have, like, tons and tons of five drops in the deck, right? So we certainly want it to be five or more. Oh, they, it was only a 1-4 Crackling Drake. Dang it, I could have attacked there and gotten that treasure. Oh, that's that's really bad. That extra treasure is really important. I don't know. I was playing quickly there. Playing too fast. Because that, that would have let us vow for six this next turn instead of vowing for five. Oh, 
our final score with Esper Angels was four and one. We did the the thing where whenever you lose, you're done, and we won four matches, and then we lost our fifth, so we were four and one. Ah, Zerf. Gifting out some subs. So kind. That gets us to 11. Welcome all the new subscribers to the channel. Hope you use your emotes. Hope you are, you are enjoying them. Uh, so it turned out the extra treasure didn't matter because our opponent had spell pierce, unfortunately. Oh, I could have shocked in my land to stop from spell pierce, but I didn't want to shock. Restoration means retribution. All right, good. Their last card was not another spell pierce. Everybody getting, everybody's getting all this hype in the chat for Zerf. There we go. So yeah, helpful miner, E Phil, Roxweek, Unknown Weeb, and Marshall with those subs. Meet my newest friend. Let's get Rada. Rada or Shauna? Rada. All right, so we're going to be cracking open a pack after this. I think. <clears throat> And we are down to 74 subs till the next 12 hour stream. Also, YouTube channel, whenever we get to 1,500 uh, subscribers on YouTube as well. If you ever miss any of the uh, videos here, you can watch the replays on YouTube unmuted. Uh, unlike the, the Twitch, watching uh, the Twitch VODs, you know, they get muted. All right, so we have our extra coils in for this matchup. Blast is going to be really good in this matchup as well. Gonna exile all those drakes. And I think we want um I think, don't think we need Dawnbringer. I think we want an extra Lyra and maybe even Shalai. Shalai doesn't block very well, but it's it is a flyer. Um Rada coming on out. And then uh, hmm. We gotta cut three cards here. Weatherlight blocks kinda well. I could see like Tajik not really getting through. I like Lannery Storm because Lannery Storm um, does make like those treasures for us. I like those treasures quite a bit. There's got to be too many fives. I guess I have to take out Huatli. I actually kind of like Huatli here in this matchup with not letting their creatures block, but we got to take it out. The vehicle being a 4-5 means it can trade with a Drake, so I like that. Terramander. We yet again can't play the land werewolf on turn one. Right. Yeah, okay, play that card first. Just played against somebody who put a curious obsession on a specter and didn't attack and didn't have to sack the obsession. Well, if you attack with any creature, you don't have to sack the obsession. So maybe they attacked with a different creature. It'll probably be a little while before vehicles come back, I would think.
but I'm not sure. Alright, now hopefully the Dawnbringer is, takes over this game now. Opponents use a lot of removal, use a lot of cards. Uh, we, we of course need a, a land drop. Oh, it's not a land drop. Karn's usually good at finding land drops, so let's play the Karn. I knew the choices we make reveal who we are. Those are not land drops either. I hope they give us blast. All right, so we need to draw land, use Karn to go get blast back, and then we can blast and exile both of these. But of course, they they could certainly just have spell pierce though, as their last card. So I guess Dawnbringer plays around spell pierce better. Ooh, they are not even attacking Karn. So that's got to be a spell pierce, right? It's got to be a spell pierce. They just don't even care to attack Karn. It's got to be spell pierce. So I think, yeah, so I'm going to play Lyra. So then it's what do I want to do with Karn? Maybe I just tick up again. Good choice. Because they're just kind of putting themselves dead to, dead to that ruinous blast. By not attacking Karn. All right, so even if our opponent has a removal spell, oh, I forgot to do this. Let me go get this blast. Nothing is ever truly lost. Even if our opponent has a removal spell for the Lyra, we can use Lyra to crew Weatherlight, and then Weatherlight can chump a Terramander so we don't die. Okay, was not a Pierce, no delay on Weatherlight. It's kind of good to know. I didn't see if they topped or bottomed that. Okay, then they went bottom. Hmm. Well, I can pay for I can pay for uh, spell pierce now, but of course my land werewolf gets exiled. But that's probably fine. All right, does not look like a spell pierce. Decisive action is needed. Certainly does not look like a spell pierce right about now. All right, we can play land werewolf and. Uh, Amara, have those two crew the weather light. Get another token. Alright, weather light trigger. 
Uh, let's get another Druidic Vow. Druidic Vow is awesome. Man, Weatherlight's so cool. Hmm. All right, let's do a really big Druidic Vow. Let's just, uh, I guess to Karn up. I'll make use of that later. <laughs> they didn't give us the squee, but we can just cast squee anyway. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It was the spell pierce. Uh, it was spell pierce that whole time. And the opponent is rude. Um. I'm just gonna pass. No, you don't get to eat my hot chocolate. Okay. So we can go for eight now. Um, just in case we get another card, let me make a construct. Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. All right, so we get land, 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 land. Wow, that was a really bad. That was a really bad Druidic vow. We got four lands though. Uh, we'll just do enters tapped. Wow, that one was not very good. Um... I think we're still doing just fine, though. I think we got this. We did get a lot of ramp. <laughs> it's cat stream now. No, none of these have those are all just exiled. Shalai was exiled like a lava coil. I don't I can't take any of those with the Karn. Alright, one and no. Oh. Nye Legends looking sweet. Good job, Hawkeye. One win. Oh, pack, pack. We got to. Oh no, we got to that sub goal last game, last match. No, there's there's no way to get rid of um, Squee permanently. I guess Ixalan's binding. I. Uh, yeah, I guess Ixalan's binding is like the one thing. Ugh. This could not be good. 
This is possible this game is not good. Very possible this is not a good game. What? Saru form hybrid? Saru man? Is this like Sourman? Sourman as a merfolk? Nixon's binding should work on Squee. I know there's a there's a big thing about it. Uh, they had to like change the rules of like some kind of layer thing to make sure it worked on it, but it's it's supposed to work. At first it didn't. That card's good. Yeah, they did that like basically a little bit after Squee came out. And Amaro only trades with hybrid, but I think that's an okay trade for us. I just want to get a creature off the battlefield for um because of Vanifar. But uh I guess it is kinda awkward that our Amaro does has vigilance here, so it doesn't get to make a one one, so that's kinda awkward. Vanifar is really scary. They gonna turn it into another Sauroform hybrid? Yes. Okay, I'm less scared now. I was more scared a little bit ago. All right, why is our opponent attacking here? Why, why is our opponent attacking with their 2-2 into my 2-5? Like, what are they doing? There's, like, River Herald's Boon. That's not even a merfolk. Do they have, like, Giant Growth? Titanic Growth? I don't know, whatever, you can do two damage to me. Nah, they they got that two points in. Hmm. They didn't use any kind of giant growth or anything there. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, good job, Legends. Way to go. Um certainly feels like an Urza's Ruinous Blast matchup. Blast cannot get rid of Vanifar, but it probably gets rid of a lot of other things they could have. Like, the, this could be, like, a Biogenic Ooze deck. Like, that's that's a card that I could see making me sad. Hmm. Take out one Squee and the Rada. 
Just have 12 five mana cost cards. Hmm, worth it. I don't know. Do I need three Vivians? Maybe I don't need three Vivians. What else we got chilling over here? We have a, a Coil instead of a Vivian. I'll play one Coil. Kill that Vanifar. Yeah, Tristani is really similar to Regal Caracal. That's a good. That's a good call. That's a. That's a pretty similar set of cards there. Hmm. <laughs> is this deck expensive in paper? Probably is. All these mythics. It is a whole lot of mythics. A whole lot of rares and mythics. My favorite expansion in uh, MTG. Maybe. I actually, I really liked Magic Origins. I thought that was a, an incredibly well put together core set. And there was a lot of really cool throwbacks in it. And yeah, my, my favorite set, I think, has been Magic Origins. We need lands deck. Where are lands at? All right, command speakers are two two now. The old Amara Tajik deck. Nobody expects it. All right, we're. Uh, this is what Esper Angels. The deck's like a thousand dollars in paper, really? Gore Claw. That card's cool. But yeah, if I don't draw lands, opponent has a chance. Four hundred dollars. Okay, that makes it. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> yeah, that makes a whole lot more sense. Maybe Amara and Tajik are gonna be good enough to get it done on their all on their own though. It's really possible. So they discarded Incubation Druid, so both their cards are better than Incubation Druid. 
Frilled Mystic. Love that card. They keep it on top. They have a 4-3 Jade Light. Nice size Jade Light. Uh, Esper Angels just went 4-1. We played we played in like the new event where if you lose once you're out, and so we were 4-0 and then lost. Any surprises await you? They can kill my 1-1, one, one, I suppose. And I, I attacked before Captain Lannery Storm here because I wanted to be able to give Tajik first strike if it came to that. I didn't want them to be able to kill Tajik with blocking. Kind of all I, I have, though. I guess I can play Shalai now. Yeah. Fuller lands have never been like a an all the time kind of thing. It's usually a, a once in a while type thing. Yeah, I, if I would have played the Lantern Storm the previous turn and attacked, I could have had one treasure, but I couldn't have made Tajik. I couldn't have gave Tajik first strike still though. Wow. Amara Tajik basically got us there. We did play a Lantern Storm. Even though Lantern Storm didn't do any damage, but just the Amara and Tajik. Good enough. All right, we got to our uh, next sub goal before, during that last one. Thanks to Zerf. So let's crack open a pack. I, I need to crack open two packs for Zerf. Zerf gets two packs. So there's one. Come on, Mythic. Ah, uh, just got a couple rares. 40 gems. <laughs> uh, absolutely. All right, so 2-0 with Naya Legends. Forty gems. That's almost enough for another pack. Yeah, the vault is still a thing. Uh, it's mostly for commons, extra commons and uncommons when you're drafting and stuff like that. But yeah, it's still a thing. Or like, so like those extra commons and uncommons in the packs still go towards that vault. Uh, let's hopefully draw white mana. This hand can be pretty good if we do. White mana? Oh, not white card. That was not good, deck. That was... Ugh. It was like...
All right, one more land means we get to play Vivian and Vivian tick up to find white mana. Because it looks like we're probably going to need this Lear Dawnbringer. Let's see if you'll come to me. Clifftop retreat. So next turn I can just like Urza's Ruinous Blast and kill this Lava Runner and Electrostatic Field. <sighs> kind of want to decline. No, I'll take action. So light up, lightning strike, and evolving wilds. So I'm gonna Gothi with the sub. Welcome to the stream, Gothi. Thank you so much for that sub there. Thanks for the support. Um. The only reason why I wouldn't want to take action is because it can kill... Oh, no, let's just decline. I think I'm fine. Decline, decline. I'm even just going to decline that. I'm going to decline them all. Twelfth sub of the day. So they're going to attack and then light up. Hmm. You can't stop nature. We got those things out of there. We're at four, though. N need to find Shalai. Shalai's kind of the card I need to find. I certainly think I'm dead. Yeah, we, we just didn't have white mana for too long. Alright, let's get extra Lyra, extra Shalai. Uh, Clarions for lifelink, Knight of Autumn gains some life, Tristani gains life. A lot of things to bring in here. Blast can go, uh, Huatli, Huatli gains life. Get back in here, Huatli. You're good. Uh, Weatherlight out, Squee out. Um, where are we at? 64? Mm-hmm. No, Impulse is really good here. It's certainly important that we get, like, Impulse is basically our 26 land. I don't really want to cut it kind of ever, but it's certainly really good here where we can dig a little farther for an extra Shalai or Tristani or, or Knight of Autumn to gain life or, or whatever we need like that. Maybe it's Karn. Vivian. Yeah, Vivian can kind of come out. Yeah, Vivian's going to be a little too slow. All right. Yeah, I'm trying a couple of Rhythm of the Wilds in the sideboard uh, for the control, de control matchups. 
No, you want Aurelia because of Lyra. So you want you want the four mana angels so you can have him play before you play Lyra. So you don't want to take Aurelia out. Crazy Pyro, thank you so much for gifting a sub t in the channel to uh, Sige Mister. That gets some hype. Gotta get those hype boats in for Crazy Pyro. Thank you so much, Crazy. All right, so that's down to 75. 13. Um, I mean, I like her hand, you know, like Shalai, Knight of Autumn, Tristani. Those cards are awesome, but I'm really worried about only two lands. I'm going to mulligan just the only the two lander. I'll keep the three lander, though. No, gr no green mana. Oh, gosh. Do I have to put a Dawnbringer at the bottom? Yuck. Well, that certainly looks kind of bad. Well, with Rakdos midrange, the the first game we played was completely my fault. Like I had, I won game one, and then during game two, I had lethal on the battlefield, and it was kind of early, and I missed it. So, and then we ended up losing. And then the second game, the second match, um, we just got outgrind by blue green. Just had uh, some better hands than us. I just realized this could be... This could be really nice. We have Tajik and then Shalai. Wait, if they don't kill Tajik here, which I don't really expect them to, because, you know, I'm expecting them to kill the, the Pyromancer there. So, and I also want to attack with the Tajik to not let them kill Tajik. Oh, please don't kill Tajik. Uh, if they just didn't kill Tajik, they just go upstairs. They're just dead. They would, Yeah, they wouldn't have been able to do anything. Wow, Tajik plus Shalai. I didn't even realize like how ridiculous that is. They wouldn't have been able to do anything. Uh, electrostatic field, I guess, would have dealt one damage to us all the time. Man, their hand. Stop. Hmm. I think I need to uh, Knight of Autumn gain four life. No, drafting is with bots. Uh, you can find the gate list in here. Exclamation point X. Well, Shalai would have stopped sword point diplomacy. Ran over. Deck didn't perform too well in that match, but I don't think that that's a, a terrible matchup for us. We have a lot of good cards, but um, you know, we we just got ran over there. It was all that was all the Tajik play. If, if our opponent just didn't 
bolt the Tajik that one that one turn too. All right, we actually have lands and good mana. I like it. We took a lot of early turns off that that last match for sure, and then they had that lava coil. Crucial I two, but new match. <laughs> All right, looks like we're playing against Gates. Gates could certainly be a tough matchup for us with Gates of Blaze killing all of our stuff. You know, I, I don't know if it is. I haven't played against Gates with this deck yet, of course. No land drop for the opponent. That's big. That's not good. Okay. 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 Vivian can destroy that guild summit if we get another turn. Alright, gonna go ahead and do that. Don't want them drawing extra cards. I did no one said restoration. And then next painless. turn Lyra, and then the next turn, Druidic Vow for five. Certainly want want to dru Druidic Vow for at least five. Alright, they got the land, now they're routing. Now this is gonna be a close game. No one knows the wilds like I do. Sorry, Squee. Don't think we need you too much here. Sorry, bud. It's true, they cannot kill Squee. Alright, do we Druidic Vow? The wilds are my shield. I'll probably just wait a turn for Druidic Vow. Because they, they're probably going to have... Um, probably go Gates of Blaze here. Yeah, we can still Vow for 6 next turn. That can't help you now. We can also continue to wait. Just play another Lyra. So the more we wait, the bigger the Druidic Vow. The better. Now nah, let's go six. Should be able to ramp with it. That's not bad. I forgot we have haste stuff. We can just kill them. Killing our opponent's good. They're at five. History is written by the victims. Come, sing the song of fame. Aurelia with the Tajik. Five haste. Boom. Man, Druidic Vow is so sweet. 
How can you look at the deck list? Uh, you can find it by doing exclamation point deck list. All right, so Ruinous Blast exiles all their stuff. Let's get that in here. Um, do I want... Hmm. Do I want anything else? I don't think so. Mass manipulation is like probably the card I'm most scared of. Wait, Tristani gets my cards back. Wait. Tristani is great against mass manipulation. Now I'll exile this is gonna exile Colossuses. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, let's get all these Trishanis in. I'm gonna cut Lyra. Um Yeah, we could have haste against a blaze. I don't think we need it. The thing is is like that you know, like this rhythm gets exiled by blast, so having both of those in the deck is kind of a non bow. All right, we'll play one squee. Oh, Tristani does not get back my Planeswalkers. That's a very fair point. Mm. That makes me less excited to play it. So I could shock in to do one point of damage with the Land War Elf. Um, but we're going to be shocking in again next turn. No, I've not tried Vanifar and Timestream Navigator. I've not tried that deck. Not tried a deck with those. Alright, I need Lyra back in the deck. This is a problem. This Ram's a big problem. Or I need to just draw one of the four Urza's Ruinous Blasts I have. Um... Alright, Urza's Ruinous Blast, please. We're tapped out. Ruinous Blast, this is the time. Dang. So they have 10 trample damage coming in. And I'm at three, so I have to block with um, at least eight toughness. Let's do these two. Trade with the Ram. What if they just have uh, Grow Spiral and Instant Speed put another... 
Well, they would just grow spiral, put another gate into play into speed. That would have been so gross. Yeah, no problem. Uh, well. Let's kill Big Krasis. Would you like to s <laughs> get that out of here? So I think they have explosion, how they just said good game like that. That'd be my assumption is that they have explosion. No, oh. nope, they just have mass manipulation. Yeah, no problem. No problem, Azarok. I got you. Um Cut a Tristani, bring back in a Lyra. We just didn't draw a Ruinous Blast, that's what we kind of need. That's all I'm going to change. Alright, important game three, can we get there? What squee for? For attacking the opponent. It's a 2-1. Doesn't attack very hard, but it, it attacks. It's really good against the removal heavy deck, so you can just keep on replaying it over and over. And they can't deal with it. And then, yeah, it, so it really helps out our uh, Druidic Vow, Urza's Ruinous Blast, these things, because they just don't get rid of it, and then, then you cast those. All right, love the Amara draw step. Now let's get land. So now, Amara into Tajik uh, is perfect. But we need, we need more lands, though, deck. We're stopping Gates of Blaze, kind of. Land, please. Heck yeah. Weather light. Lame. Opponent hates fun, confirmed. I like that uh, mech mechanism. That's a good good reference. What does Squee do? He protect. He attacked, but most importantly, he trigger blast. Alright, so I can... Uh, yeah, let's blast. They're at six. We could just play like Tristani and win, or we could have just even attacked and won. But I wanted to play the Urza's Ruinous Blast. I wanted to do that. Soto, thank you so much for the bits there. All right, let's see our question here. Yeah, I definitely think there's a his viable historic ban list out there. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I think I think so. Okay, hey Todd, big fan. I'm playing Sultai, but I'm having trouble versus the Esper control deck. Game one seems unwinnable. What are some cards that I could add to the sideboard to help the matchup? I already have three negate and four duress. Um, another thing you can play there is Sorcerer Spyglass to name Teferi to keep them from uh, Teferiing a bunch and everything. Uh, you could also have Unmoored Ego in your deck if you want to just take Teferis out of their deck completely. Um, so that's something there. Um, besides that, Thought Erasure uh, is another really good card um, that just takes anything, uh, kind of like a kind of like Duress. Um, that's another one there. Uh, Thief of Sanity to to help out um, disdainful stroke is a great counter spell that's a good option three one 
Um... We're on the play with our slow mana hand, so. I don't I don't know thought or I would not say Thought Erasure is slow. Thought Erasure is just an amazingly like, amazing card. It gives you so much information, you can take their you can take their best card no matter what it is, and then you also get to surveil and set up your next draw step. It's just a ridiculously good card. Thought Rager is one of the very best cards in the format. Um, besides that, besides those cards, um, more cards that, like the deal with your deck. Midnight Reaper is awesome in the matchup, so I would I recommend having a good amount of Midnight Reapers. You may you may not have enough Midnight Reapers. That's a card that's that really shines there. No, do not take out the Explore Package. Wow Growth Walker, yes. But the Explore Creatures, you want to... No, you don't Don't take those out. You want to uh, put the pressure on the opponent with those. Um, let's go with this thing. Yeah, we got Esper Control right here. Speaking of Esper... Um... Yeah, I could certainly see taking out mana creatures. If you're just bringing in Duresses and Negates, I could certainly see taking out, like, Land War Elf. Absolutely, yeah. That, yeah. Wild, yeah. Wild Growth Walker, Land War Elves. All right, so we're at three cards apiece. We still have two Planeswalkers. Uh, they have a Planeswalker. I can no long hold that thought. The explore creatures are really important. Have all their absorbs. Stop that now. All right, good luck, Soto. No time for a break. You can do it. There, Squee. Squee time. <laughs> They're exiling my Squee. I mean, I can just I can just recast it. The problem is I don't really have the mana to really hurt them too much. 
Because they get to draw two cards a turn, so even though I have like an extra squee, keep up the pace. It's not a big deal. So we need a fifth land. I want to play Squee plus Shauna. I'll just play Shalai. I mean, it, it may be just kind of fine, because I'm, I'm stuck on mana. Like, that's the real bottleneck here, so just using a card on Squee is honestly f just fine because of how much I'm, I'm stuck on mana. You know what? I'm not done yet. We need to move quickly. Yeah, looks like the opponent's gonna win this. Just can't play our spells. So I need to draw a haste creature and them not have any counter magic or removal. Maybe they don't. Maybe they don't ultimate to fairy. Maybe they tick up again. Squee needs to be like a five four trample haste. <laughs> Little old squee. I don't do this lightly. Is that an ability? Let's skip to the good part. Can they not target Shauna with that? Uh, it doesn't matter. They're countering Squee because it ensures their Teferi gets the ultimate. All right, Blast is out. Rhythm in. It's kind of about all I have. I don't really have anything else to do. Could play Knight of Autumn. Destroy try to destroy Search for Escanta. Instead of like Lyra. Alright, we need them not to have all their absorbs. They had all of them this game. Uh, yep, let's try it out. I cannot have turn two Tajik. I can go turn one Land War Elf still. Um, attack for one, play an impulse, and a clifftop retreat. Then on my turn three, get a Karn into play. Taking the extra land, just in case, because we saw how how rough it was when we didn't have lands that last game.
Uh, probably Mardu Angels for best of one. No. Let us begin. They have so many absorbs. So I don't, you know, don't necessarily want to throw my planeswalker into the uh, into a counter spell. I am using Karn to, you know, draw another planeswalker here um, right away. So I think Esper Angels is better in best of three than Mardu. I think they're really close. Honestly, not sure exactly which one I like more. I, li I like them both. They just have every absorb in their deck. They had all four last game. This game, turn three and turn four are both absorb. I won't hide from the world any longer. Hurry! Do they have negate here? Huh. I hope not. Oh, I can't I cannot cast Aurelia. Time for plan B. As soon as I think I'll take up. Are you sure? Sure. Though, tap the white source. I was kinda of planning on minusing and getting Aurelia. Keep up the pace! So a, a Kaya's Wrath means they would also have be able to have Absorb available because of this extra mana with Teferi. I probably should just played Huatli there and made a Dinosaur instead of Grand Warlord Rada. Certainly, f hmm. Taking out Watley. Certainly feels like they have a, a counter spell here. Yeah, I've been seeing a decent amount of people play Notion Reigns recently. Alright, time to do Druidic Vow. I won't let you win. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should probably do something with this Karn. I guess I could go get Aurelia. This will aid us. That was not a good Druidic Vow. We got lots of lands, though. 
We have to pay six life. At least we got a whole lot of lands and play. Least I've seen things that would break someone like you. Gosh. And we have three lands at the bottom of the library. <laughs> yeah, the next vow will be real lit. <laughs> Need so many bricks. Hold that thought. Peace creature. I'm not gonna kill the Elder Board, and I'm gonna look for a haste creature. Comes. Basically looking for Tajik there. Skip to the good so Elder Shiborn doesn't have anything on their side. On our side they can take a Planeswalker, which we don't get the Planeswalkers back with uh, Tristani. Um, I'm going towards this Vivian Ultimate right about now. I uh, didn't need to play another creature into a uh, Kaya's Wrath. So if I kill Teferi, they just get Teferi back with Eldest Reborn. And again, if, if they get a creature, I, I get the creature back with Tristani, so I think I get an... Uh, um, so I think I can kind of ignore Teferi and try to attack them. Yeah, our opponent has all these cast downs. We're not really punishing them too much for all these cast downs, but... I have faced worse than the likes Hurry. of you. Why would Amara not be in the deck? Amara's a, a good two mana card. It's good, good two mana creature, and it's it's a legend. <laughs> there is great power in the things we make. Hey Babylon. Okay, sorry. Yeah, so our our deck is just built around legendary creatures and uh so we need we need as many legendary creatures as we can and Amara's a, a fine one. Alright, I'm, I'm just going for it. Let's try to kill them.
All right, they blocked the squeeze. He has trample though now. And there we go. But yeah, so she's legendary. So we saw Eldest Reborn also. Do I want this other Knight of Autumn in? Hmm. Do we want another Knight of Autumn? Over Ashana Sisse Legacy. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Squee did Squee did hit him for lethal. We need more Squee. <laughs> this is the matchup that uh, that Squee um, can shine in. Alright, we need lands. Come on, deck, we need lands. Okay, we got some lands. Gonna impulse here and look for another land. Ooh, Amara's kinda nice. It's a pretty bad impulse for us. I mean, I'd like to play Amara here. We go Amara into Zeek, but then it's pretty risky of us like not having lands if we just go Amara to Zeek. So we have what uh, one, two, three, three draw steps until Karn, where we need a land, and then four draw steps in until Vivian. So we'd have to hit two lands and four draws for Vivian. Kind of risky. Knight was the card I was not taking. It was either a Mara or a land. No blue mana. That's good news. Tilt. Alright, so even if they have Kaya's Wrath here, then I get to lead up with Lannery Storm and gain a treasure. Oh, they did not have Kaya's Wrath. Well then. Is Amara Tajik gonna win another game for us? We've already won a, a couple games with just Amara Tajik and nothing else. You know, Mara Tajik has been a great combo for us. Man, those two are match made in heaven right there. They hit so hard and so fast together. All right, we, we defeated Esper. Yeah, it's just a better war boss, basically. All right, final boss time with Naya Legends. Where's our final boss music? Da 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 da. We're playing against the nubs. Lands. All right, we got lands. I like it. 
Uh, we do have the unfortunate situation um, of not having Llanowar off on turn one. I, I guess I, I probably just need to put the fourth stomping ground in here. I didn't want to go with like the full 12 shock lands, but I, I should put that in there and take out a, a sacred foundry. I have that kind of messed up. I need, yeah, I need to have, I need one last Sacred Foundry, one more Stomping Ground in the mana base. That's the Todd Knot Seer. Uh, it was before I was, Eldrazi was a really big deck that I played a lot of in uh, Modern. And Thought Knot Seer is a big part of that. And so that's, that's well, Thought Knot Seer. I've seen things that would break someone like you. If you've ever seen Thought Knots here, uh, the, that card, it's that's the art of Thought Knots here, but then it has a little tie on it. So it's like a Todd Knots here. Now we got all the lands, and we don't have an, we don't even have like Urza's Ruinous Blast or Kamal's Druidic Vow turned on right now. We need a legend. I know. Uh, on the bottom we have Lyra. I think it's Lyra land and then something else, like maybe a Planeswalker or something else, for the other card. Yeah, our opponent does not have any mana. Like they, you know, they are very mana poor. Man, Druidic Vow would be so good. Can we just draw a Druidic Vow, please? Come on, deck. Get us this Druidic Vow. You can do it. What are we vowing for anyway? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're vowing for nine? Ah. I did say I wanted lands before. Deck did help us out there. Druidic Vow. One time. One Druidic Vow would be so good, though. Yeah, we have a whole lot of good cards to steal. Thief of Sanity is going to be pretty brutal. No, there was a vow there. Uh. So 
Show me what you're made of. Witness my glory. Witness my fame. Draw and fire. All right, down to five. Opponent, of course, can attack Vivian with Eva Sandy, but then they don't get a card from us. I'll be back, just like before. Man, if only they didn't take one of our vows. Can we draw the other one? There's one other vow in this deck. Ooh, that's, your blood pumping. They're statistically that's not bad. Hmm. Like Dovin. Oh, we also have multiple Urza's Ruinous Blasts. Urza's Ruinous Blast would be really good. I Just exile all their things except for success. Dovin. Yes, yeah, so we need a we need a blast. Blast or vow. Alright, they cleared out a bunch of lands. Not enough lands though. <laughs> If Artificer's Assistant was green, white, or red, would you play him in this deck? There is elegance in simplicity. I honestly don't remember what Artificer's Assistant does. It had to be a legendary creature. Oh, that's that's the blue that's the blue one drop. I know what you're talking about. The that's the blue one drop. Okay, so no, I would not. Because that's not I a legend. So no. Oh, Say hello to my little friend. All right, Blaster Vow. Who boy. That's a good one. That's a good one. Get out of here. All that stuff. All right, let's kill Karn. I will return. All right, now we need the vow. Oh man, my squee though. Tilt. You're doing me a favor. Yeah, give me back my squee. Give me back my squee. Can't take my squee. Can never, never take my squee. This is just a small example of my genius. All right, so we're at seven. Gotta stay alive. So many lands, though. Right, where's this other Druidic Vow at? I can benefit from another success. Evan, the wilds are my shield. I'll take Lyra. 
Give me that Lyra. Did I just put the Vow to the bottom? I guess I didn't pay attention too much. All right, no removal spell, please, opponent. Don't kill my Lyra. I, I don't know if it's, I like both Lyra and Lyra. I like them both. That's fine. So they have two of my card and one of theirs. All right, that's good, that's good. It's the small thing. That'll do. Matter. Still alive. Still alive. All right, let's find another Shalai. No one knows the wilds like I do. Um, another Tristani. Just kill the first Tristani. Make a couple life linkers. Tajik doesn't really protect too much. Yeah, the the Vivian stuff isn't known though, because it goes back on the bottom randomly. Should I try to protect this Vivian? I, I think I need to make this attack. No, they, so they have two of our cards. I think they're just two lands, I guess. I kind of thought one of them wasn't a land. I think one's a land. One was like a land with these, but I thought the other one's not a land. But maybe it is. Just a gadget, but ingenuity. Oh, I certainly wish I would have attacked now. No, we don't have another blast. Come to me. Um, what am I doing with Karn? I will fight with honor. Some solutions must be built. Vivian Ultimate, maybe? This tech gimmick is worth it. Maybe Vivian ultimate? They didn't attack! They did not attack! Opponent you with the no attacks? They the didn't, they didn't attack Vivian. Right now. Wild animals balance comes. There's the Druidic Vow. So we know the Druidic Vow is one of our bottom three cards now because the the shuffling. Choices we make reveal who we are. That's it. They did not attack. 
All right, we need the extra blasts. Clarions are pretty good here too. Same with coil. Um, <laughs> that was a pretty stressful game there. That was certainly a stressful game. Uh, yeah, I mean, I should just be playing Clarions. So if I'm playing Clarion and Blast, what am I cutting? Tajik. I guess Tajik's good with my Clarion. But I'm never, like, really attacking in with it. I gotta cut some of these fours and fives. I don't really know what to cut though. I guess I could just get rid of Rada. Um. I guess I'll just cut Weatherlight. We're at 62. Trim a couple of each of those. Yeah, we won. We ultimated Vivian. We ultimated Vivian. Yeah, I used I started with Immolating Inferno in this deck, um, but kind of cut it a lot and, and ended up getting rid of it. But it, it certainly has its times. Now they didn't shame concede. They were dead. Like our Vivian ultimate was going to be killing our opponent. That was the perfect land to draw there. We have turn two Tajik, turn three Shalai. All right, so far so good with what we've drawn. Um, you know, hope they don't have removal spells for this Thief of Sanity. But we're nice. They were doing good life total wise. That's a good draw also. Man, our deck is sweet. Yeah, Tajik and Shalai is just game over against a uh, against a red deck, like against the burn deck, because they can't. They can only target Shalai, but then prevent all damage dealt to the Shalai. Just like game over. And Sincrise getting the gifted sub from DJ Poly B. Um, do I really want, do I want a Clarion now? I don't think I need a Clarion yet. Yeah, now we Clarion. Unmoored Ego. Sure, man. No, so I couldn't I couldn't activate Tajik and play Shalai because I, I looked at that, but I only have one white source. So even like tapping the elf, it wouldn't matter. I, I only have one white. I couldn't do couldn't do both. 
Ah, they said Vivian. Wait. Land where else not gonna die. Life link. And they take three from damage from the Midnight Reaper. <laughs> they have to, um, yeah, I'll restart the client here after this one. Um, they have to name the card before. They couldn't just name Clarion, but yeah. Yeah, that was a nice curve. Turn two, Tajik. Turn three, Shalai. Turn four, Aurelia. Nia Legends with the 5 1. Nia Legends. Man, this deck is fun. We did we had some cool druidic vows. We had we had a couple kind of bricks with druidic vow, but we had one that was like really awesome against the Esper Control deck there. Yeah, so this deck was really was really really fun, like always. Um, yeah, if you're looking to play something a little different, uh, that you wanted to have like some some uh, crazy games, check this deck out. Um, one deck, one change you need to make to the deck is you need an extra stomping ground and one less sacred foundry. Wait, is that is that enough white sources though? If I take out a sacred foundry, no, we need to just take take out a Craig. Crag, take out a crag, take out a foundry, put in a uh, grove, grove or retreat, probably retreat, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, I kind of want another green, so I guess grove, uh, 6, 10, 15 red. Yeah, so that, that just switches out green, red, and, and red, white for green, red, red, white. Um, but I'm making the other green land a shock land instead of instead of the red, white a shock land. Because we need the eight uh, green shocks for Land of War Elf there. So that that was just a, a, a small deck building mistake. Need to need to have that. So we switched that shock and duel for the other shock and duel over there. Um, yeah. No, I still want to keep still want to keep some basics in uh, for like sell the wreckages and stuff like that. Um, that's a cool that's a cool mountain. But yeah, the deck felt pretty sweet. So there we go. All right. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.